you can get a $14,600 tax deduction for each child you hire in your business. And if you simply follow the steps that I'm about to show you, the income will also be tax free to the child. I recently helped a client save over $18,000 in taxes from simply hiring his children in his business. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I will show you how you can do the exact same thing. If you have kids under the age of 18 and a business, you can take advantage of this. As a father, I can tell you, kids are expensive. We spend thousands of dollars to support our kids. We pay for childcare, clothes, school supplies, extracurricular activities, college savings, and so much more. But instead of you paying for those things, what if you simply paid your child to do a job and let them pay for those things? That way you can deduct the payments to your child and save money in taxes. But there is a right way and a wrong way to do this correctly. And I am going to walk you through the correct way to do this as a licensed CPA that saves clients millions in taxes at mycpacoach.com. So go ahead and save this video, comment below, and let's talk about hiring your kids. All right, so why is hiring your kids a beneficial tax strategy for both you and your children? It's actually quite simple. There are two very big tax benefits to consider. First, the moment you pay your kids from your business, you create a tax deductible expense. Or in other words, you can write off the amount you pay your children from your business. For example, if your business earns $100,000 in income and you paid your child $14,000, you would only pay tax on the remaining $86,000 in income instead of 100,000 which by the way, just saved you over $3,000 in taxes if you are in a 22% tax bracket. But wait, it gets even better. The second tax benefit is how the income is taxed to your child who receives the money. In short, if you structure the payment correctly, they will receive it tax-free. So not only will you receive a tax deduction for what you pay your child, but your kids will also pay no tax on the income they receive on paper. And in reality, the parent is normally still in control of the money sent to the child because they are the custodian of the child. As the parent, you can even set up a custodial or joint bank account with your child to control how the money is spent or invested. So it's a win-win strategy on both sides. You as the parent receive a business tax deduction and can use the funds to pay for things you already pay for or plan to pay in the future and the child receives tax-free income if you structure everything correctly. So let's talk about what this structure looks like. Step number one, pay your child less than the standard deduction. The whole concept of your child receiving tax-free income is based on the standard deduction amount. The standard deduction is a specific dollar amount that every taxpayer, regardless of their age, can use to reduce the amount of income that they are taxed on. So if your business pays your child less than the standard deduction amount, then the income will be tax-free to your child. For example, in 2024, the standard deduction is $14,600 for single taxpayers, which your child would be. So if your child received $14,600 in income, the standard deduction would wipe out all of your child's income, leaving them with $0 to be taxed on. On the other hand, if you paid your child $20,000 in income, they will still be taxed on about $5,400, which is the amount of income that will be left after taking the standard deduction. And this is not always a bad thing. When my clients are in very high tax brackets, this can still be very favorable when the child is in a very low tax bracket. We're pushing income from a higher bracket down to a lower one. But before I go down the rabbit hole here, for simplicity, my main point is that if you pay your child less than the standard deduction, your child will receive tax-free income. Now, the standard deduction normally increases every year. So if you're doing this, you will want to keep an eye on that every year if your goal is to pay your child as much tax-free income as possible. Now let's move on to step two, avoiding social security tax and Medicare tax on payments to children. 
So paying your child less than the standard deduction will save you from paying income tax, but it will not save you from paying social security and Medicare tax. But don't worry, there is a way to get around this as well. And that lies in how your business is structured. So the IRS says that if your business is a sole proprietorship or partnership, payments to your child are not subject to Medicare and social security taxes. By the way, even if you own an LLC, you can choose to be taxed this way and receive the same tax benefit. And if you are, all you would have to do to reflect this in your payroll provider is to mark them off as exempt for these types of taxes. And that will save you a total of 15.3% in social security and Medicare taxes that would otherwise be split by you as the employer and your child as the employee. But what if you own an S corporation or a C corporation? The IRS says that if you are a corporation, payments to your child are in fact subject to social security, Medicare, and income tax, regardless of their age. Now, this is big to consider because a lot of small business owners switch to the S Corp's tax status to reduce their taxes in other ways. So what can you do in these situations? Well, there are two things to consider. First, you can still hire your kids as employees, and yes, you will pay Social Security and Medicare tax, but the overall tax savings will still typically outweigh the expense 99% of the time. Or number two, you can set up a separate LLC to employ your family members that is not a corporation and still avoid Social Security and Medicare tax. Now, this is technically referred to as a family management company. A family management company is simply a separate business that is either a sole proprietorship, LLC, or partnership that is owned by the parent or parents. And then what you would have to do is have the S or C Corp pay the management company a management fee for services that the family management company is providing to the S or C corporation. Since the family management company is a regular LLC and not a corporation, they are still exempt from payroll taxes. So your kids would need to be in the family management company's payroll and get paid from the FMC so that you can avoid those added payroll taxes. All right, let's move on to step number three. Pay your kids for actual work performed. All right, so by now you should understand the tax benefits of hiring your children. But for all of this to work, your kids must perform actual services or work for your business. Now, this work does not have to be highly technical or complex work. It can be as simple as addressing envelopes, janitorial tasks, answering the phones, or other administrative or helpful tasks. But whatever it is, their work should be ordinary and necessary for your business. It cannot be personal services like making your bed or washing the dishes. No, in order for the expense to be deductible, it must be common and acceptable for other businesses just like yours in your industry. For example, one of my clients is a truck driver. His children help him load his trucks for his routes. And this is a very great and simple use case for hiring his kids while receiving massive tax benefits. Another one of my clients is a graphic designer. He teaches his children how to design graphics and they in turn help him with very simple design projects. Another great use case. And then I have another client who is a real estate agent. Her daughter helps her with office duties like printing and faxing documents, maintaining records, and other clerical duties. There are many ways to associate your child with your business in a helpful manner, but you will want to make sure that it is realistic. Realistic for not only your business, but for the age of the child as well. For example, if you are a real estate agent, it is highly unlikely that a six year old can find real estate deals for your investment company or braid hair in your hair salon. So carefully think through this and do not hesitate to get a CPA involved who can help you plan around these types of things. Number four, maintain proper documentation. So in the unlikely but possible event that the IRS questions your tax deductions, documentation is always your best friend. The more documentation you have, the easier it will be to prove that you are in compliance with the tax law. So to protect yourself, try to document 
the work that your children are doing for the business. You can keep up with time logs, track hours worked, and document duties performed. You may even want them to sign an official employment contract that clearly outlines their job role, pay, and responsibilities. This will only help you show that your children perform legitimate work for your business. Again, the more documentation you have, the better. Number five, pay your children a reasonable wage. All right, so just because your children will receive tax-free income when they are paid lower than the standard deduction amount, that does not mean that their pay should equal the standard deduction. In general, your kids' pay should be for services they actually performed and their compensation should be reasonable for those services that they perform. You cannot just pay them any amount. It has to be comparable to what others make doing the same job in the market. For example, you can't just pay your kids $13,000 for spending one hour cleaning your office when cleaners in your area might charge $25 per hour. The compensation has to be reasonable. So first, find out what workers doing the same duties are being paid, and as long as you are paying your child an amount consistent to the market, you should not have a problem. Number six, pay your child from a payroll provider. Paying your children from a payroll provider helps you establish a clean paper trail of payments made in exchange for services rendered. Ideally, at the end of the tax year, your child will receive a W-2 from your company just as an ordinary employee would. And this just helps everything look even more legitimate on paper. And your child would just use this W-2 to file their own tax return. Now, in order to do this, you would just need to sign up for a payroll service like ADP or Augusto and hire your child as an employee. Now, as a CPA, I use these platforms all the time, so I will include some discounts for you in the description of this video if you are trying to do this yourself. But remember, if your business is organized correctly, you can make them exempt from payroll taxes as they receive payments through your payroll service. And don't forget, as the parent, you can control where the payment is deposited and how it is utilized as the custodian of your child. You can set up a 529 college savings account, Roth IRA, or a custodial account that you can control until your child turns a certain age. For more videos just like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. And if you want a comprehensive tax plan that is guaranteed to reduce your taxes, then apply to work with one of my CPAs today at mycpacoach.com.